Okay, Sir Brandon, we're going to go back to your down, down, up scale from E9, okay? And it's got to be even triplets, so triplet, triplet, nice and slow, no tension, no rushing. Okay, do each one twice and play the major scale. F sharp, G sharp, you can even think about those notes or say them out loud, F sharp. And do the minor, sorry, E. Okay, then we talked about triads today for the first time. So a five note E major scale on the high E string would go one, two, three, four, five. Now in order to form chords, you have to skip through scales. So instead of combining the first, second, and third note, which would sound like a mess, you skip the second and you combine the first and the third, and then you skip the fourth and add the fifth. So you get what's called a triad, the one, three, and five of a scale. In this case, Very pretty sound. One, three, five, five, three, one. To go minor, just flatten the third, G natural. One, three, five, five, three, one. So to prove to your brain, play the major, and then the chord, E major, and the minor. And you'll hear how they fit together. Okay? Then you want to go to um, E9 and play them all harmonically, which means at the same time. E, that's from your third string scale. G sharp, that's from your second string scale. And B, that's from your first string scale. E, G sharp, and B, the one, three, and five of the scale. Make this perfect little pianistic type of triad. And when it goes minor, you just flatten the third, G natural. And you can play the open E to confirm. The other thing that we do, we did today, is we combined E5 with G sharp. That's like two notes of a triad, just root, third, no fifth. And then we made a little parallel scale that goes major, minor, that's seven, five. Minor, major, major. Okay, just like your, your, chord, your triad series or your chord scales do. Major, major, minor. These are called parallel thirds. Parallel motion means the same interval Moving up. They're not exactly the same. Two and three are minor, and one, four, and five are major, just like your chords. And then you can play Brown Eyed Girl by doing a one, two, three, two, one scale. Do it on E, and do it on A. Same thing, major, minor, minor. And go back to E and repeat it. And then culminate here with a little stretch G string four, B string seven. And then on the B string, you go four, five, seven. So it's A, E. Okay. Um, and then the last thing, let me look at my notes here. Okay, that's all the nerdy stuff that we covered today. You can continue to do your sus chord exercise. useful and also continue to do your open active scales sliding on three a d g sliding on two and then last week we examined how those look if you start on the a string they look identical except for your first note is not open. And that's the scale you're using for 